hello guys you're welcome to another tutorial so today we'll be learning how to make a traffic light with our Arduino you know and picto blocks so let's dive in the first thing you'll be needing is your breadboard your Arduino you know the USB cable then your four male to male jumper wires then most importantly your LEDs so let's dive in the first thing you do you connect your USB cable to your Arduino you know then connect your resistor your resistor connect it directly to as you as you are seen in this video connect it directly to your breadboard so once you have done that take a single male to male jumper wires representing it at your gnd connect it then take the negative connect the negative of your traffic lights or the negative of your traffic light directly to your resistor in an horizontal line as you are seen in this video you can see the shorter one is the negative connected directly to the resistor then you can now connect uh male to male jumper wires to all your leds which is the positive the longer part of it so you are connecting it horizontally to that so then you connect your gnd from your resistor directly to the gnd of your breadboard then the red to number five of digital pin then the yellow to number six then lastly the green to number seven so you're all set then plug your USB cable directly to your laptop. Yes, we are doing it. So the first thing you do is carry out when green flag clicked from your picto blocks, then connect your Arduino you know board. Connect it, click on board, then connect. Once you have connected it, then you go to control, carry out forever, drop it under when green flag clicked. Drop it under when green flag clicked. Then you go to Arduino, you know, to carry out set digital pin. Carry out set digital pin. So once you carry out this set digital pin, what you are going to do is you are going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. We, we need nine of this. So, you know, it will be cumbersome to be carrying this one by one. So just duplicate. Duplicate it to nine. We need nine of this. So duplicate. Then we need more and more duplicate. Then duplicate. So if you count it very well, you see that we already have nine sets digital pin. So the next thing we do, we go to our control, our control, yes, I think control, yes, okay, okay, you go to your control, carry out weights, one second, you carry out, we need three of this, so you carry out one, drop it under the, count one, two, three, drop it under it, carry out another one, count one, two, three, drop it under it, then the last one, the last one, let's shift this up so that we have, we'll be able to see it very well. Okay, I guess it's not shifting that well. So let's carry out one second. One second to drop under the last one. Oh, I guess it's not staying. Let's scroll down a little bit. So once you scroll down, carry out to wait one second, then drop it under the last one. So remember in the tutorial, so you change this timing. So we want the first one to be two seconds, which is for the red light. The second should be one second. Then the third for the green light should be two seconds. So because of our time, so remember the first pin we chose was five for red, then the second one is six for yellow, then the third one is seven for the green light. So let's change it like that respectively six, five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. Then the last one, five, six. Six and seven and seven so with that done then we want our red light to be the first one so it will be high low low then the green and yellow will be off at first then to wait two seconds then our red light will off then our yellow light will be on then green will be off so respectively like that red off green off yellow on then the next thing we do is upload firmware so we click on upload firmware so you see this rolling once you click upload firmware so if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section as we are going on in this tutorial so once you've done that let's wait so the next thing you do is you click on green the green flag click on the green flag so once you click on the green flag then our traffic light is up and running so it is as simple as it looks there's no magic attached to it so thank you very much for your time so if you find this tutorial helpful 
do click on the subscribe button then to get more of this thank you very much see you in the next video